But just keep an eye on the mini map. There's going to be a player from Jolt that will probably come around all the way and try to go for that flank. But again, Hobbs is going to be getting your Hops first blood one. of this round. They were waiting for the pick. Bomb's going down. Hobbs is going to fire at that tarp. Hopefully trying to find somebody there. He's a little weak right now. I'm just trying to stay alive. Shots are fired. Exchange is 4v3. You're looking at this Jolt squad. Get aggressive. And no, oh no, Hobbs just stays alive. How is he still alive? Finally gets taken out there. 3v3. The bomb is down. Rip tides in post office. Gets a kill. It's 2v1 in favor of Jolt. How the tides have turned. And that's thanks to Rip tides. That was not on purpose. Glow is alive alone. Logi versus Glow. 1v1 and Glow able to clutch it out. 15 seconds left. He's going to get this defuse. And it's going to be your boys from Jolt with Search and destroy win here on Warhawk, evening up the series one to one. Yeah, definitely. So that was just a great play we saw there. Uh, Logie last alive. He was kind of in that position where, like again, a kind of a hopeless position. He, there, even if he wouldn't have had the time to run out and try to go to Water Tower because it was going to be Glow who was coming right up those steps. So he would have seen him run there. Either he would have just chased him, tried to go for the kill, or maybe try to go for a ninja defuse or something. But. Just, just the timing is real. That's all I got to say for that. But guys, I think we are going to switch hosts. So we're just going to take a little little bit of a break here. John will probably run the PA intro like he always does. But we're going to be going into Blitz. I think they said the Blitz map that they wanted to play first. I think it was Freight. So we'll just have to wait and see. We are switching hosts. I believe Madness is going to take hosts now. So yeah, John, you do whatever you got to do, brother. They Still are, alive. Man. I can't wait to be right. I like being right. Oh, my mic is muted. My, my mic's always muted, dude. Of course it is. My mic's course always it is. muted. It's always muted. We apologize about that, guys. But I was saying 1-1, one, one, best of seven show match right now. Our predictions are still alive. Uh, I'm hoping Jolt can pull, Jolt can pull this together 4-3. Yeah, it's going to be awesome uh, in a best of seven. Again, Meta yeah. Esports announcement coming at you guys here in a little bit. We're working on a little project with them. Gamers Edge is hosting a sponsorship tournament, guys. You're going to make sure you're tuning into that for a chance to win a sponsorship from uh, Gamers Edge Gaming Glasses. Hit them up on Twitter at Gamers Edge underscore US for more updates on that. It's going to be roughly February 21st through the 23rd. So it's going to be a three day tournament. Looking excited for it. Uh, looks like you guys are waiting for me to join this room, probably, right? Oh, you know, just hanging out. <laughs> Letting you do your thing. No big deal. Come on, John. My I'm fault. My you. fault. My fault. But definitely, guys, yeah, Gamers yeah, Edge. John. That's going to be huge. That's going to be a lot of teams. I, a lot of teams are already hitting uh, hitting us up uh, for information on that. But I know Gamers Edge is going to release some info on that. So any AM teams in the in the chat, make sure you guys are checking them out. It's going to be nice. Uh, a chance to win a sponsorship by them. That's awesome, man. I'm sponsored by them. One man One army day. right here. Where are you at? Where are the glasses at, bro? The glasses? Yeah. Who are you sponsored by? I'm sponsored by Meta. I'm oh. just kidding. I'm not sponsored <laughs> by Meta. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just going to Anaheim on their on their on their on their dime. That's what they told me. They're like, yeah, we'll we'll send you there. I was I was so good. They're like, you can play by yourself. And I was like, ah, I don't know if that's gonna work out. Definitely, so. guys. And Gamers Edge Gaming Glasses giveaway. Uh, we're not far. 4K on Twitter. We can give a pair of these away tonight on stream if you can make it happen for us. Gamers 4K. Edge. 4K. 4K. Yeah. Make it I mean, what we should do, John, I really think we should get a recording of Putrid, right? Just like one of the, like, we should just and go just take his it. recording from his Martin Luther King Gamers Edge glasses edition speech. We should just get that, and then, like, instead of us just being like, yo, Gamers Edge Glasses, guys, go check them out. Cause, we should man, just play we, that. We're boring. We're boring, right? People would rather listen to an automated message. So why not just be like, have Putra just do his Martin Luther King edition Gamers Edge speech? We don't have to do it. No work for us, man. We just sit back and we're just like, yo, dog, this is awesome. Right, Duff? This, yo, this, dog, this, this is such an this awesome cool. product. No, Putra does it. Putra's like... First, I got to give a shout out to Gamers Edge, VCIwear.com. You got to check it out. These glasses are amazing. They're made of titanium. They've got glass that will make your eyes last. No eyes, no fried, no fry your eyes. Am I right, Dirk? You are definitely right, man. I love you, brother. 
<laughs> it's so important. And he has he has the orange glasses. He's like, check out the putrid orange edition glasses. But anyway, enough of just bringing up Putrid's fame. Let's go ahead and jump into this game. I'm going to go ahead and start off this game with Gravity. He's going to be running straight through the middle of the map, picking up a kill. And just like that, Joel is going to be able to get the first score on the board right now. So Gravity really needs to stay alive in this base. But he does go down. So they already have one cat to start off this game. Middle of the map was left wide open. Gravity wide and his teammates actually open. just just ran straight through. And they were able to give it a cat straight away. There's not even a minute done left. Minute... There's not even a Damn. minute that's gone by in this game yet. Glow with a two-piece over here. Make it three as he's in position to score. Let's his teammate run in there. That's Riptide. He's going to take a note from Flawless, though. And act No, actually. Well, no way she is. He's going to go top of this Porter building. Going to make his way down as the goal is wide open. And booyah! Touchdown. Glow's got two scores. Three for Jolt. Jolt is looking aggressive and dominant early on here on Blitz Freight. Yeah, definitely. There's actually going to be a player going in there, and that was going to be Luan going in and getting the cap. Now they're able to finally get one on the board, but just like that, it's going to be Joel coming right back, and they get another. So they have four already in this game. The way things are going, it looks like it's going to be a high-scoring game for Joel. I'd like to see Madness get more aggressive, but something that they really can't do, they cannot give up their left side, and it's going to be Joel's right side. They cannot give that up. You never want to spawn away from your blitz site. Never. Because, you know, you just had that, like, long commute that you have to try to get to your base. You have <laughs> a to long try drive to in the morning. There's traffic. Oh you're bitching. <laughs> the radio's not playing your favorite song. And Jolt's just running amok. Glow with three scores. I want to point out, though, every single player from Jolt right now has scored at least once. Mayhem with one. Gravity with one. And Riptides with one. But Glow leading the charge with three. And they are just relaying scores. Absolutely outslaying their opponent. Jolt's gonna get one. He's gonna score again. Four oh. scores to Jolt. It's seven to two. Jolt is going off specifically. Glow. Man, Logie was right there with the AR, and he was so close to making that stop. I thought he ran out of ammo, but he still had four shots left in his gun that he could have shot, but he just stopped shooting. Maybe it was just one of those things where he was just thought in his mind, okay, he should be dead, so I'm going to stop shooting. I know a lot of people do that, myself included. My motto for Call of Duty games is never stop shooting. Never. Never. Never stop shooting. You sound like Coach Carter. I never stop like shooting. You got to be ready. Ready. You ain't never ready. Ready. Right now, Madness, Madness is not ready, ready for this jolt push. Mayhem is behind enemy lines, waiting for his squad to push up as three of them go down. It's seven to three in favor of Jolt. Two minutes left, and Mayhem is playing it patiently and perfectly. Gonna find one, unfortunately, not able to pick up the kill. I don't know how he didn't hear him. He must be playing with an Xbox One headset because he was a freaking giraffe asaurus walking around next to him. Yeah, definitely. So I'm going to hop on Maru Luan right now. And uh -oh. She's ready uh -oh. to kind of make a play on the uh -oh. play. He's able to get one kill, and now he's going to be... Oh, where did that kill come from? Holy nice my goalie. In the back. Glow. Glow. Wait. Glow? How did he get that kill? I don't know. I guess there was, there was an opening. If you look on the map at the back there, kind of a lumber, there's an opening, and he was able to just, like, edge himself to get that kill. So what a big stop there by Glow. Able to just keep it so they only have three captures and Glow right now. Just something I want to point out. Joel is playing super aggressive, and that is the key to Blitz. You really just want to take it to the other team, and you want to show no remorse. You just want to play super aggressive and just keep the other team pinned in their base. And something I'm surprised Madness hasn't really done. I know that scores just keep going down as Riptide go in. What? Madness really needs to get aggressive. If they get control of their left side and make them spawn lumber, it's going to be a further away from the, like the blitz that Jolt's going to spawn at. So and then they could just keep on like holding it down, getting the kills and everything. So I'm really surprised that Madness isn't playing super aggressive. I know they're down, but we still have another side left as we are down to under a minute left in this game. Eight to four, currently in favor of Jolt. I gotta be honest, I'm on board with Luan, who is leading his squad right now. 10 and 8 with two captures, doing some aggressive work. Unfortunately, him and Cynics are the only ones getting aggressive on the objective. And when you have two players kind of trying to stay back and play defense, you're allowing this aggressive Jolt squad to push up and continuously just relay cap after cap after cap. Look at this, all three players on defense not Waiting until they get some kills to push up into the map. By that time, the enemy players are already spawning and you're not in a position to score. Yeah, definitely. Something I just want to keep in mind. You're looking at Joel, right? You see all the players have double-digit kills. Apart from one player, Riptides. Three kills, <laughs> three deaths, two captures. Like, he literally... Two captures, guys. Hey, what's up? I'm Eugene Yackle. And, yeah, uh... like, the, the thing is... 
he literally, I don't know if like John's been going to war. I know we haven't been saying like, oh, let's go on board Riptide. He's just been s sitting in one spot. Like, he, like when I jumped on board with him once, he was laying right outside of the white side. Then when I went up over there at the very end of the game, he's literally laying inside of the, the red train, just sitting there waiting. And he almost was able to get the cab there. So four kills for him, while the rest of his team are just doing some absolute slaying. Just look at the stats, man. Just look at that. Oh, somebody really needs to step up, obviously, by the stats is Hopster. He really needs to. He only has one cap, so you can't really say, like, oh, he's OBJ and all this stuff. He is running an AR. So he's 2 and 10 right now. But Madness, I mean, it's their choice. They want to play aggressive. If Jolt plays this side that they're on now, like they did last side, oof, it could be bad news, Bears. And it's already in favor of Madness. He's going to. Early on, get your score right away, but Jolt's gonna answer back very quickly with the score. Your score is 11 to six in favor of Jolt, but Luan's getting aggressive again, leading his squad. He's got three of the three of the six captures, and now Hobbs is trying to step up for his squad. We saw him go off in search and destroy. We know what he's capable of. It's gonna take a team to get this job done here on Blitz. Yeah, definitely. And then that is actually going to be Mayhem taking out Cinex. He was the player that it was going to be Luan firing shots at Mayhem, but he was not able to pick him up. And just like that, the base is going to be wide open. Mayhem going in for one more cap. So he has two as well as 17 kills. So he's doing it all right now for his squad. And they're just not letting up. They're just trying to pile this on to secure this game. And Mayhem just pushing up once more. They're able to pick a kill, but does end up getting taken out right now. So things are just kind of everywhere. Nobody's really dominating this has kind of just been a little a bit of back Whoa. and forth as we do see madness are able to tack on one more so they're just trying to reduce this deficit trying to reduce reduce this deficit <laughs> trying to reduce this deficit but it's just back and forth back and forth your boy gravity john mayer is gonna go ahead and score for his squad but an answer back yet again it's 13 to 8 both teams not really exercising great map control here in middle map. It's just wide open for people to run right across it and get in your spawn and score. That's why we're seeing these answers back. As soon as one of these teams takes control, posts an AR up in that middle map, it's game over for the other because they're just going to be killing them as they cross all day long. Yeah, definitely. Riptide was able to make a play there on Luan who thought that he had a clear run into the goal, but he did shut him down. So now... It just, Joel, they're, the way they're, they're playing right now, look at this. Just look at the map. There's going to be three players down for Madness, and now this is an excellent time where they can just get this map control and just keep trying to relay on it as well as just get a spawn kill active. You do see one of their players is playing super aggressive, and it's all the way back in their spawn. I believe that is actually going to be Gravity. So Gravity, Gravity sneaking around everyone, Whoop. going in for a cat. There was one player who literally just, like, stared at him. He's going through. He's like, I got this. I just watch eye contact. <laughs> Literally, that's that, that awkward moment when you're reloading your gun and you watch an enemy player run into your blitz hole. I mean, your you're blitz like, capture, your blitz train hole. You're sit there like, whoa, man. <laughs> oh, hello, welcome to my home. That's exactly what just happened to this Madness squad. Riptide's getting aggressive here up in the front. Uncontested, Glow's gonna score. Riptide's in a position to relay. He's just gotta stay alive for six more seconds, find a player to kill, and he's gonna be able to put another score on there, making the score 17. It's expired, knows the player is up top. He's waiting patiently. What I like about this is instead of going for the score right now, he's actually gonna go for the score right now. <laughs> instead of going for the score, right now, he's actually gonna go for the score. Right now. So yeah, there's something that I have to keep in mind, like the two caps before that came from them just pushing up on Madness's left side. They were able to push straight through red and literally just took it patient, just went all the way around the little road trip and then went in the goal. Just playing so sneaky, not trying to get into any gunfights. They see a guy, they let him run and they cap. But Jolt right now, 18 to 10 over Madness right now. And it's gonna be Mayhem. He does spot one, but the door is going to close. Mayhem does pick up that kill. What? Damn. Whoa. He's got the accuracy of a trained SEAL Navy sniper rifle. That was my SEAL impression. That was <laughs> Oh my god, I gotta point out, Mayhem is 24 and 16. This is his game type. If there was a game type for Mayhem, and he is going absolutely off. Three captures to his name, outslaying the opponents, but Jolt just dropping three players there. There's only 50 seconds left, and unfortunately, that's not enough time for this Madness squad to catch up. They would need 90 seconds to score. Now they're just trying to make this look a little less bad, as this was a very high, high-scoring game. It definitely was, and like we said, it was going to be a high-scoring game for Joel, like the way that they were playing, and that's what it really was. Something, if I want to point out a flaw in the Blitz game by Madness, they were not playing aggressive. 
They were not getting those spots. Like, you could just kind of learn off of the enemy, I guess you could say. Look at this. One player.